Hello, I'm Maurya and I'm a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up external DNS with Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service. Let's get started. In Amazon EKS, you can expose your applications to the external world using load balancer services or ingresses. In both of these cases, a load balancer is created in front of the application in the cluster. However, as a client connecting to these exposed applications over internet, you're not using load balancer's DNS name. Instead, you're using a domain name that the load balancer is associated to as an alias. However, these load balancers can change for various reasons. The new load balancers that come up must be associated with the same domain name. The external DNS plugin lets you automate this process of associating the load balancer with the DNS name. Let's see how to use external DNS plugin to maintain DNS records in Amazon Route 53. To begin with, we need to have a Route 53 hosted zone ready in your AWS account. I already created a private hosted zone in Route 53 for demonstration. The external DNS plugins run as a pod in the cluster. This pod needs AWS identity and access management permissions to create, update and delete Route 53 records in your AWS account. So let's go ahead and create an IAM policy that gives these permissions. Let's use the IAM role for the service account feature to link the IAM role to the service account that's used by the external DNS pod in the cluster. Let's verify if the service account is created and annotated with the IAM role. Now let's apply a YAML manifest that contains a cluster role, cluster role binding and deployment to create external DNS pod. The YAML manifest is modified at three places, at the domain filter, text owner ID and AWS zone type flags. You can gather the values of these flags from the Route 53 console. Let's verify if the deployment was created successfully. Let's also take a look at the logs. Let's now create a load balancer type service that exposes an application through the domain name that's hosted on Route 53. The service YAML manifest contains an annotation that says the load balancer must be associated with the domain name. Let's verify the service that we just created to see if we have a load balancer. Let's verify the logs of the external DNS pod. Let's verify that we have an A record in our hosted zone from the Route 53 console. Let's run a curl against our private domain name called external-dns-test.com from an instance created in the same VPC as the EKS cluster and see if it works as expected. And now you know how to set up an external DNS with Amazon EKS. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.